right now this is Bethel Christian Reformed Church this is one of the uh, well one of the very few uh, intersections that uh, have a, a traffic light so again there's a ship rock there so I'm facing west right now and so uh, here's the probation office on the other side is the old ship rock jail but uh, there's a Wells Fargo Bank here um, old BIA land over there a lot of uh, probably Anglos used to stay there uh, so this is the main road that I was came in from uh, our house and from Farmington so uh, I was heading west on that road all right Bethel Christian Reformed Church so this uh, what's inside of there is basically the sanctuary and on this side and on the back side are some offices rooms and so this is where we enter and you can tell uh, from what I know it just kind of looks like this was a an, an annex that was added here at a later time and that's basic basically the space we're going to be using but this is <clears throat> this is the parking lot here um, and uh, it was kind of a you can see there a little picnic area we could actually use that if we wanted any outdoor uh, uh, things with the kid but kids but really there's not much good outdoor space here uh, pastor John has kind of his private um, area a yard backyard that goes with the parsonage he lives there's a you know the pastors pause the parsonage is right here but there's really two two ways to enter uh, we uh, almost always use this left door because that goes into the annex um, or the fellowship hall is what they call it. This would be, you know, you walk in in those doors and the sanctuaries on the left. So this is the church doors would be going in here. So anyway, uh, let's walk in here. So um, we'll enter here. That uh, is a door that's kind of the back end of the kitchen, but I'll, I'll go to the main door here. So there's two restrooms here. Uh, so we have the men's restroom with a couple sinks, one urinal, two toilets. Oh, looks like that one needs to be flushed. Probably we were the last ones to use it. We had our CR here last night, so that's probably from, from some of our kids. So men's bathroom. All right, and then we have the female, the women's bathroom here, uh, two sinks, and uh, three toilets. Let me check those out. Look at that. The, our ladies and girls are a lot better about taking care of things. So then here's the kitchen, and so this is where, um, you know, I'm still kind of talking to Pastor John. I'm inviting him to be a part of our... Uh, March call uh, and so if we have any questions but it's a really good sized kitchen I think it's well equipped I think we'll keep the lunches or snacks um, pretty simple but uh, we have access to the stove in fact uh, for our grief support group and even for celebrate recovery we'll we'll prepare food at home and then bring it bring it here there's a lot of uh, I think it's a, again a well equipped kitchen but they do keep keep things locked up and so then there's a refrigerator, microwave. I don't know if that microwave works. I think uh, we usually use that one if we need a microwave. But again, very, very nice sized uh, kitchen. All right. And then here's a, a pass through. So this, this is really the main area here. Uh, so we can pass through that. But I'm going to walk through there. And that's a long, long room. Um, and uh but the nice thing is it it does have dividers obviously they're not very soundproof but um let's see i'm gonna walk walk this off um roughly so probably about 50 55 58 feet long, but you can see there's three three dividers here And so we actually use these dividers um, When we do our normal celebrate recovery, we basically yes. Yep. Thank you. We usually use the center area um, 
and then kind of this is where our tables are set up we have our tv there and sound system you can see here that uh, this is church's wired well um, jj put this in jj did that while he was here uh, put the shelf in and um, so we do have internet throughout the church and then when, when we get to our our point it's called open share groups where the men and women split up then we'll, we'll pull these dividers so that the men can meet on one side so this is the main room uh, again it can be it can be split up into essentially four areas right there's three dividers so one two three and four so this could become four four classrooms or we could uh, split it make it from anywhere from one to four spaces all right so that's that again remember this is how it came in right so now there's this big long hallway so uh, obviously oh the nice thing about the dividers is that there's a door for each one too so again uh you know this would be the second area uh here's the third area so even when we have the dividers pulled uh people can come and go if kids need to go to the restroom to the bathroom um and then uh this would be uh, the fourth area and then um this here uh and i don't have I, I have keys to a lot of the spaces but this so this is one of the rooms we use um two maybe 15 15 12 by 15. Um, yeah uh, yeah 12 by 15 let's say this is where our, our women, we need to really take that down, but uh, this is where the women um, meet uh, for their open share group. You can see we have, we actually have, uh, uh, for Bible school, we have three TVs available to us. So there's one, that's our, our smallest one. Um, I don't know how big that is, maybe 40, 40 inch. I'll show you the other. So that's one room. Here's a, another room that's available to us. Again, very similar size, probably. Let me see. Yeah, maybe this one's a little bit larger. Um, again, my scientific method, right? Yeah, this one's bigger, larger. I would say maybe 15 by uh, 20. Very unscientific, but this is where Ginger meets with um, the teens. Our, the program's called The Landing, and so this is our table. Those are, uh, those are owned by our uh, ministry, those chairs, the table chair. Uh, same in the other room, uh, that table. This, this room is not available. Uh, I think uh, John, um, I don't even know if my key works here, but he does, you can see he, 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 he's well known for um, growing plants. He has uh, some uh, gardens and uh, greenhouses, so he'll start planting stuff. He gets plants donated, but you can kind of see this is, <laughs> has a lot to do with seeds and uh, all those things, uh, the trays for the, the plants, and he basically uh, grows them, and then uh, people can come and um, just have them for free. So really, we're talking about this room is a, a, a you know independent room, no divider, and then this one is the other room, and then remember this one, this would be the end of that big room. So and so, what are we really looking at here? Uh, we can have at, at maximum we can have four rooms here and those two, so we have six six available uh, to us. Uh, he does have a couple other rooms. Actually, this room may be available too. I don't have a key for this. This is what they use for their Sunday school. So I have to assume it's a lot. Uh, it's very similar probably to this one, right? Uh, so we could probably use that. So uh, four in there and these three, three of those. So seven spaces. And then here's the uh, point where we can head toward um so we're leaving the annex right oh i want to show you while we're in the in the th that large room is called the fellowship hall so but this is all part of that addition so this is um our our storage room 
that Pastor John allows us to keep our equipment and things in. So uh, you can see our um, Celebrate Recovery Shiprock sign. And then we have a couple of TVs. Uh, this, this one is a 65 inch TV. Uh, this is a 75, the backside of a 75 inch TV. Uh, we have one sound system here, but we have at least three sound systems that we could have in different areas. But here's where um, uh, there's our Celebrate Recovery Rack with uh, all the different um, different uh, things that you can struggle with. Codependency, sexual addiction, mental health. So then here's uh, a place for us to store our, our food items. And um, yeah. We have a coffee maker, so uh, know that, you know, during uh, uh, the time that uh, we're here, that we have a, a storage area that we have access to. Uh, those are our shelves. We came in and put in those shelves. We just kind of, unfortunately, just <laughs> pushed <laughs> Pastor John's stuff to the back there. So that is our storage room that would be available. So we really have uh, three three TVs if we need them. All right, now let's walk uh, across here into the, the original part. And uh, again, remember, so these doors here at the end, when I was standing out in the parking lot, if we walk straight in, that uh, led us into this area, but we took a left. So there is, uh, we'll walk into the sanctuary here, but there's a, a door here for the sanctuary. And then I, I, I think that this is really the main, the main area. We'll go into the back that's locked, but here's the um, main entrance where people would come and go from the church service. I understand they had a funeral here. So you can see here, like um, these windows actually look into a couple of those um, classrooms. All right. So now we'll walk back here. Um, oh, let me flip on the light here. Okay, that's a lot better. There are a couple rooms here that I don't think uh, Pastor John wants us to use. These are um, uh, more like, uh, oh, oh, this one opened. He uses it more for his like council meetings 